Some of you have asked about the VIVA exam after the Oman Prometric examination. So we'll discuss about the VIVA session in this video. After the verification of documents by the ministry staff, the VIVA will start, the VIVA examination will start. First, the VIVA panel will allow you to introduce yourself in a short period of time, like all about your basic stuff. The introduction is the first thing in every interview. Then they will ask you to select one prescription from among those given without seeing. The written side will be upside down. So you just randomly choose one prescription and then read the prescription very carefully. It should be audible to the Viva panel members. Now the rest of the questions are mostly based on the prescription given to you. What all are the medicines given in that? So the Viva panel members, they can ask you questions related to the medications, indications, side effects, uses, mechanism of action, and all the stuff, anything related to the medicines written in that. They also test you on common medicines that are used in Oman, so you should be familiar with that too. Also, the drugs classification. In a nutshell, you should be thorough in pharmacology. So, study pharmacology very thoroughly so that you can answer everything. Also, prepare well on controlled, restricted, over-the-counter and complementary drugs. Note the color of the prescription, the validity of prescription, etc. Also, try to answer every question with confidence. That is the most important thing in an interview. Now, let's see an example of a prescription, previously asked prescription, and discuss their answers as well. So here you can see a prescription, azithromycin, once daily, paracetamol, twice daily, levocetrizin, once daily, xylometazole in spray, two times in the morning and two times at night. So that's basically the prescription. Now let's see what all questions were asked from this. The first question is, what is azithromycin? The category of the drug, its use and mechanism of action. As you know, azithromycin is a macrolide antibiotic it is used for bacterial infections such as otitis tonsillitis community acquired pneumonia urethritis and cervicitis So that's how you describe the uses of uh, azithromycin um, category use. And then comes the mechanism of action. So azithromycin prevents bacterial growth by interfering with their protein synthesis. It binds to the 50S subunit of bacterial ribosome, thus inhibiting the translation of mRNA.
Moving on to the next question, the difference between erythromycin and azithromycin. The answer is the duration of action, DOA. Azithromycin have longer duration of action compared to erythromycin. Moving on to the next one, what is controlled drug and their examples. In a man, drugs are classified into four categories. First, controlled, restricted, complementary, over-the-counter. You should know about these in detail. For example, the controlled drug example is diazepam, lorazepam. Levocetrizin use is to relieve symptoms due to hay fever or other respiratory allergies. Then silometazole in use, category and mechanism of action. Silometazole is a nasal decongestant. Its mechanism is that it stimulates adrenergic receptors in the blood vessels of nose. It should not be used for people with high BP. They can ask other questions unrelated to the prescription as well. What is misoprostol? Why is it a controlled drug? Why it causes abortion? The answer is Misoprostol is a synthetic prostaglandin used to prevent and treat stomach and duodenal ulcers. Okay, so that is what is basically misoprostol used for. It can cause abortion and premature labor. That's why it is a controlled drug. Now, why does it cause abortion? It binds to myometrial cells to cause strong myometrial contractions leading to expulsion of tissue. This also causes dilation of cervix. This is why misoprostol causes abortion. Let's see another prescription. Example, Diovan 80 mg once daily, Crister 40 mg once daily. Now the questions related to this prescription are Tell the generic name of each. Diovan is Valsartan. Christor is Rosuvastatin. The next question is, how will you dispense it? How will you dispense both these drugs? So Diovan, as written, is Diovan is 80 mg once daily. Christor is 40 mg once at night after food. As you know, some statins work best at night. It's better to take DO1 at morning to control hypertension. Valsartan is used for hypertension and resuvastatin for hyperlipidemia. Now another question, if the patient came back after experiencing muscle pain, what will he do? So. Muscle pain or myalgia is a side effect of rosuvastatin. So you should say it's better to consult the doctor again. If the patient asks for analgesic, will you give? You should not give analgesic like an aid. So you should say, I will not give, but send the patient to the doctor. Only after the prescription of the doctor, you can give the analgesic. What is the patient diagnosed with? So you can understand, if you know the generic name, you can say it is hypertension and hyperlipidemia. Give two examples of contraindicated drugs in children. So you can say any two. Tetracyclines and aspirin. Tetracycline because it may cause permanent discoloration of teeth, which is why it is contraindicated in children. 
aspirin because it is it causes race syndrome. I've made a separate video on uh, aspirin race syndrome. You can check that out. Okay, guys. So this is what happens in Oman Viva exam in a nutshell. You should be thorough with your pharmacology. That's it. And answer every question confidently.